So, today, there's an article, a boxing scene. I'll leave in the description. You read it, come to your own conclusions as per usual. Give me what I believe. So, David Higgins, Joseph Parker's manager, has come out and said that he would expect 70% cut for a world title fight against Alexander Usyk if it happens. Now, I can understand trying to start negotiations high and maybe settling for a lower number. As in, David Higgins looking for maybe 50%, but starting at 70%, could do more damage. I mean, if Alexander Usyk's team look at this article, see the 70% figure, then being mandatory, they're likely to say, well, screw this clown, if he wants 70%, we'll just go to purse bid and we'll get at least 60% in the purse bid. So, I think David Higgins has made, made a big mistake here. He also goes through in the article explaining that Joseph has earned his stripes at heavyweight and they are the A side. I mean, that's a fucking joke. Alexander Usyk is the A side. Straight up. Here's an example, look, Alexander Usyk fought, not Tim Witherspoon, uh, his cousin, can't remember his name, Witherspoon, as his heavyweight debut. So according to David Higgins' theory, Witherspoon was the A-side because he's fought at heavyweight before and Usyk had it. See what I'm getting at? It don't make any sense. Yeah, Joseph Parker is a former world champion. He's never beaten a current world champion in any, div any division. And you know what? Alexander Usyk has beaten a current world champion. Do that, you see. Joe Joyce is the WBA gold champion right now. Alexander beat him in the World Series of Boxing. He's beaten a current world champion. So, Usyk coming up from Cruiserweight, to me, doesn't make him the B-side automatically. That's just bullshit. And what I really do hope is that David Higgins hasn't fucked this up for his man, Joseph Parker. Maybe if he had have gone behind closed doors and tried talking to Eddie Hearn and Usyk's team, possibly could have negotiated for up to 50%. Which I think is fair, because to me it's damn near a 50-50 fight. I've got a 55-45 in favour of Alexander Usyk but there are also some factors that may need it to be added in you know I was thinking about Parker possibly gassing a bit in the later rounds uh, with the volume Usyk puts out I don't think Joseph would be able to take little rests throughout the fight because Usyk puts the pressure on but then we've got to think about Usyk said after his fight against Witherspoon he needs to put on some more weight for the elite heavyweights. So if he does that, is his stamina going to be affected? Is his speed going to be affected? Is he still going to be able to pour enough volume pressure on to slow someone like Parker down? So there's a lot could happen, but first things first, we have to have that WBO belt vacated or stripped. I think it will happen. I think if Joshua and Pulev 
were trying to make their fight for the IBF strap, the mandatory that's first, they made that within the first quarter of the year being before the end of March, then I think maybe the WBO would be a bit more accommodating because they would be close to getting their mandatory fulfilled by mid-year, you know, July-ish which is close to, I think they said they want it fought for by June. So, I think that would be viable, but they're talking about Usyk and Pulev in April. So, I just don't think the WBO are going to be stretched out that long. I think they'd be happy to give Alexander Usyk the chance to obtain that belt against the next highest ranked available fighter which would be Joseph Parker and I think Eddie Hearn would reside to the fact that okay if we've got to give a belt up it's going to go to one of my matchroom fighters anyway and Anthony could possibly get it back again so it wouldn't be that hard to make so that seems the most logical route for me um, however if Joseph signs a fight for this February 29th date in the States and then it comes out that the belt's getting vacated is Joseph going to be classed as not available and the next down the line would be Adam Kovnarski I believe for Usyk to fight I mean that's a possibility and I don't think Eddie Hearn would like taking that risk. Kovnarski's a very high volume pressure fighter. He can bang and he could possibly beat Usyk. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But apparently this week we're going to find out Joseph Parker's opponent for the 29th of February. And we're going to find out before the end of the month what's going on with the WBO belt because Pulev and Josh will have until the 31st of January to make a deal for their clash for the IBF and we'll have some action by the WBO once that fight gets made I reckon so we'll see what happens um, let us know your thoughts particularly about David Higgins and his comments um, I boil that pretty much down to Higgins doing the best job he possibly can for his fighter he's prepared to throw himself under the bus which he has done here um, but I think he might have gone a step too far with the starting figure and like I said it, it's a red flag for Usyk's team to motivate them to take it to Persbud then not going to get anywhere near 50% then why not just put it to purse put and take 60 so yeah let us know your thoughts hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one big boys boxing and I'm out see you.